The Wilmer Hutchins student accused of shooting another student is still in Dallas County's jail this midday. Dallas police say 17-year-old Jacarian Rhodes Ewing got a gun past metal detectors last Friday. Rhodes Ewing shot another student in the leg using a 38 revolver, according to that arrest document. The injured student is still recovering. Last night, students and parents gathered for a community forum about the school's safety. Even if there has to be a rotation of staff members, you know, everybody can't be there every day, but let's get a, rot a good rotation going so that we know that our students are going to come to school and be safe. This comes just as school security leaders from across North Texas gather in Richardson this morning for a safety summit. NBC 5's Lana Quillen is live from Richardson for us following that part of the story this midday. Alana, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, some of the most experienced uh, safety professionals in the entire country are here in this building right now for this conference. If I can show you really quickly some of the sessions that they just broke out into this morning, covering everything from mental health uh, to trends in school threats and even human trafficking, everything is being covered today. Now, we've got hundreds of district police chiefs, officers, superintendents, and other school leaders from all over North Texas. Even the Texas Education Agency all sharing ideas and solutions and what they can do better to keep kids safe in schools. That community meeting at Wilmer Hutchins and this conference are unrelated, but at the same time, it just highlights how these increasing threats, these social changes, and violence in schools are top of mind for districts to address. This is the sixth year for a summit like this. Organizers say this is a unique moment for law enforcement and educators to be in the same room on these topics that sometimes doesn't always happen especially for rural schools or even districts that don't have their own police department. Well, ESC Region 10, where we are today, represents about a million kids in public schools. So I think it's really key in events like this that we have not only law enforcement, but that we have school administration. Sometimes those, those two sides don't always see the problem the same, and so getting them together to, to understand and to, to learn from one another is really, I think, valuable. Now, school safety, of course, is the big focus today. But again, I've noticed some of the discussions are also focusing on the fentanyl crisis, sex trafficking, as well as a deeper look at what happened at the deadly shooting at the Allen Premium Outlets last year. Now, there is another summit happening this fall to kick off the new school year, and that one will actually have a component that really focuses on mental health and youth, which is just as crucial. Reporting live in Richardson, Alana Quillen, NBC5.